we will use the xnpv function uh, which is similar to the npv function but uh, with a very uh, basic difference that uh, the xnpv uh, considered the first cash flow to occur uh, in year 0 so it does not discount it uh, on the other hand if you contrast it with the npv function npv function will always consider the first cash flow uh, to happen at the end of the first year let's see how we can use the xnpv function uh, to calculate the net present value of the project that we are um, having on the screen so net present value is basically the present value of all cash flows and uh, uh, cash outflows and cash inflows so we will start with the xnpv function uh, where we have to locate the rate then we will have to select the values first the range that is containing the value including the initial investment and then we will have to select the corresponding date of the uh, cash flows then bracket close and then enter so it is giving that the xnpv is 4204.37 another benefit of xnpv function is we don't have to have a equal interval of time of the cash flow for example in this project you can see the cash outflow is happening uh, 1st january 22 let's consider that that is uh, the present time second cash flow is occurring on 30th april third cash flow is occurring in on 30th june fourth one is occurring on 31st december so that interval of time between uh, different cash flows uh, are not equal npv function will not provide you the correct net present value if the case is like that but x npv can handle that so that is uh, another benefit we should remember uh, so in particularly in this type of uh, projects in this type of cash flow uh, with irregular cash flow or um, uh, cash flows in unequal interval of time uh, x npv function is more appropriate so this is how we can use the xnpv function to calculate the net present value uh, in a more um, flexible way thank you for watching i hope that you have understood